You guys already know how I feel about milestones. Obviously, I haven't done anything special for New Year's, including for myself, celebration-wise. Of course, New Year's Day is totally arbitrary, and Chinese New Year is the real New Year anyway, but it's still a good time to look back and see how far we've come in the last 365 days. So I just want to say thank you to everyone who has supported this channel, who's watched a video, who's subscribed over the last year, the last six months. It's been an incredible journey with you all, and I'm really looking forward to 2017 together. I just want to start by saying thank you to everyone for all the well wishes, uh, the get well soons, the feel betters. I really appreciate that. Um, I do feel a little better today. I'm still not 100%, but I, my throat finally doesn't hurt enough that I can actually talk to you guys. And of course to everyone who thought that I was faking my sickness to take some time off. If I wanted to take some time off, I would just do it. I haven't had to try to convince anyone that I'm actually sick since the last time I tried to stay home from high school 10 years ago. So this video today is just going to be everything that I shot leading up to our trip to Vegas and then that first night there where Cassie and I went out a little bit and tried to, you know, see some things, catch some Pokemon, before deciding that rest was the best course of action. With that said, some of the footage is a little bit outdated since it comes from the Day of the Nest migration, which was, I think, three or four days ago now. But I hope you enjoy it nonetheless. Good morning. It's before 10 a.m., which is crazy. I don't think you've seen me before 10 a.m. in quite a while. But we're packing up all our stuff, getting ready to head to Vegas. Ah, this can go up front. Quick stop at a very noisy Bill Barber Marine Park. Spin some Pokestops, pick up some eggs. A nest migration is also scheduled to happen today at 4 o'clock p.m. Pacific time. So this might be my last chance to come here where there's absolutely nothing because apparently I'm moving too fast. But this park is an ammonite nest. This might be my last chance to grab a couple ammonites before the migration. So hopefully my sightings will come back and I can do that. Well, these eggs are hatching. So let's see if I can get lucky and get Pichu or Togepi out of these. Oddish? I'll take that. I do like a good Oddish. Growlithe, nice. Bullpix, cool. Grab a pair of Ammonites. I should just remind you guys that nest migrations happen every Thursday at midnight UTC. That's 4 p.m. Pacific time. Just ask Google midnight UTC in your local time and you'll find out exactly when nest migrations are gonna happen. Two Ammonites there. Another one, right back where I started. I just finished taking down this gym, and here's a quick tip that I saw on Reddit the other day. I don't remember the name of the person who posted it right now, but I'll put it on screen so you get your credit. When you place a Pokemon in a gym, it has 2,000 prestige. One battle, one time beating that Pokemon is gonna lower that gym to zero. It's 1,000 prestige for beating a Pokemon, it's 1,000 prestige for beating every Pokemon in the gym. So if there's only one, that's 2,000 prestige. So here's what you do. Start battling, just walk away. If you beat the gym, great. It's gonna go up a little bit in prestige, so now it's gonna take two battles for someone to take that down. But even if you don't beat it, you get an error, you'll still get a little bit of prestige for battling the gym, and it's gonna be above 2,000. And honestly, that one extra battle could make the difference between someone taking over your gym while waiting at a red light, or at their bus stop, or them not having enough time to do that. What's your name? Miguel. Miguel, nice to meet you. Yeah, I like your videos. <laughs> Thank you, I appreciate yeah. that. So that's it. Quick tip there, it could honestly make a big difference. It's gonna take someone twice as long to beat your gym. I got a quick Taiwanese breakfast before we head out. I got 
some coffee for the drive. You guys know I don't really like coffee, but I only slept like four and a half hours last night. stop for bathroom and also we're going to a gift exchange so we need to get gifts but check out this crazy parking lot cluster spawn <laughs> there. Check this out. Christmas Pikachu. Alright, I gotta go to the bathroom. Airbnb tonight. We're supposed to leave now, so yeah. quick shower. I should mention the family we're seeing tonight isn't technically family. They've just been family friends for a very long time. Friends of my grandparents and their kids are friends of my parents, my aunts and uncles, so of course we still call them family. And I'm out of Pokeballs. Don't judge me for great bowling of Pidgey. Unless it turns out to be a ditto. This Pidgey is giving me a hard time. It might actually be a ditto. No, just a Pidgey. By the way, check out these shoes. Cassie got me these for Christmas. up getting out of the Airbnb right now we're actually supposed to be out like 20 minutes ago we're gonna go get some breakfast and then try to check into our hotel on the strip uh, we're not supposed to check in until 4 but hopefully they have some rooms available for us <laughs>
a suite for free. So, first things first, map. I guess the actual first thing should be Pokestop check. Oh no. No Pokestop. Wait, I'm drifting. I'm drifting. We can reach one. Oh, and that's my seven day streak. I totally forgot that today was my seventh day. And I would have lucky egged that, but there it is. A lot of items. And an incubator. So we can reach at least one Pokestop from the room. Check it out, the high roller is a gym. I'm totally taking this later. shooting at night. I guess we're just gonna go for a walk, try to find something to eat. Cassie knows a good restaurant. There's gonna be a lot going on on the strip. Before we go any farther, now is our chance to really test Apple Watch versus Go Plus since we're gonna be doing a lot of walking. We both have eggs at zero kilometers, so I'm gonna start incubating now. And since I have so many, it takes me a while to get to my infinite here. There's three eggs at zero kilometers. I'm using Go Plus. Cassie's got the Apple Watch. So we'll check in in a little while. See what, oh, I thought it was a coffee. It's the We both have really slow service right now also. So that's kind of annoying, but we'll see who gets more distance out of this walk. ate dinner close to the hotel. Uh, it turned out to be a good choice because the lure spawns were kind of nice. Chansey, Hitmonlee, Sandslash, Ditto. Now we're just picking up some medicine and heading back to the hotel room to rest some more because this cold air is not good for what's going on in here. All right, before we lay down, finish this Breaking Bad marathon. <laughs> Let's just check in on the eggs. It turns out our room actually isn't in range of a Pokestop. I just drifted over to it earlier. So that's kind of a bummer. But here are my eggs. 2.6. 2.69 is what I ended up with. And you have 3.5. That's a huge difference. That's a huge difference between what I got credit for using Go Plus and what Cassie got credit for using the Apple Watch. Especially considering that the watch app kept stopping and closing and asking her to open Pokemon Go on her iPhone. So it wasn't even connected as much as Go Plus was. And she still got almost a kilometer more than me. I did just update to 2.7. So I got an extra 10 meters. Ooh. 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 I'm Ooh. in range. Yes. Oh my god. Briefly. <laughs> Can I put the lore yeah, on? Do I'm it, try do to do put do it. Do oh, I'm out of range now. Can you still do it? No. Where am I going? Oh, I'm getting this is this is counting as distance right now. <laughs> Alright, that's it. We both need some rest. Um yeah. and breaking bad. Alright. <clears throat> Sorry we didn't get to see more of Vegas. After that, the next day, Cassie and I decided to stay another day in Vegas because I was so tired and achy, I didn't think that I would really be comfortable in making the four hour drive home. So we found a last minute hotel deal and managed to stay somewhere relatively cheap considering everything was like $200 a night since it was getting really close to New Year's. 
but all we did was lay in bed in the hotel and rely on GPS drift to occasionally reach a Pokestop and lure it and hatch some eggs with that drift, which actually didn't go well at all, until the very last eggs that we hatched in the hotel room, I managed to hatch a Magby, so I was pretty excited about that, and then when we got home, I hatched a Togepi. So those are my two Gen 2s that I've hatched so far. During the egg event, which by the way is not over, it lasts until the afternoon of January 3rd, which should be tomorrow. So you still have time for increased Gen 2 odds. Hopefully before it ends I can get Smoochum, Pichu, uh, Igglybuff, and Cleffa. Cassie has hatched Pichu and uh, Cleffa, two of each actually. And I hope you guys are all enjoying your starter spawns event. Uh, if you're following on Twitter you know that I lost two Charizards, both of them ran away from me. Um, but I have managed to catch two Venusaurs and a Blastoise, and check out this Chansey, 84% IVs, that's going to be my Blissey once that comes out. Obviously I've been seeing a lot of starter spawns. Uh, these all came from Vegas, I haven't seen any since coming back here, but we did get pretty lucky coming across all of these just in the hotel room or on the way out of the hotel or eating lunch in Chinatown before coming home. So let me know what this event has been like for you guys. I've seen plenty of screenshots on Twitter, so I know it's going well for a lot of you. So yeah, just let me know. Let me know how you're enjoying the event. And with that said, that's going to be the end of this episode. Tomorrow I'll probably do a Q&A since I'm not really feeling 100% uh, yet. I don't want to actually go out and start walking around in the cold quite yet. I wanted to do a mail time package opening because I've gotten a lot of packages delivered to my mailbox since the last time I picked them up. Unfortunately, the mailbox is closed today because it's Sunday and closed tomorrow in their observance of New Year's Day. So I guess those packages will just have to wait. Until then though, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Thanks for watching. Thanks for all the well wishes. I'm hoping to feel 100% very soon.